Imagine a fish so big it breathes air and almost vanished. The Arapaima, river giant of the Amazon, was hammered by overfishing for decades. Here's the twist. Today, locals are bringing it back. I'm taking you to Amazon backwaters where communities flip the script. No poachers, no chaos, just smart rules, proud guardians, and fish the size of surfboards cruising again. When Arapaima numbers crash, villages lose food, income, culture. But when they recover, kids eat better, families earn fairly, and forests stay standing. Because healthy rivers are worth more alive than stripped. That's power. So how did they do it? Locals count fish in their lakes, eyes on the water, season after season. They set size limits no take, seasons, community patrols. Only a portion gets harvested with transparent quotas. Profits go back to the people who protect the habitat. In places like Mamirawa Reserve, these plans didn't just work, they exploded the comeback. We're talking populations multiplying several times over within years, all while legal, sustainable fishing pays the bills. Fisher groups tag measure share data so every catch has a story, not a secret. And the fish? Arapaima are fast growers air breathers, easy to count and rebound quickly when given a chance. Perfect for community management. This isn't charity, it's a business model rooted in respect. Buyers get traceable, high quality fish. Villages get steady income and pride. Rivers get guardians who show up before dawn and stay until the last boat heads home. Want in? Look for certified sustainable Arapaima products. Support co-ops and programs led by local people. Share the wins so more lakes join. From almost gone to coming back strong. That's the Arapaima story. Written by the communities who live with them. And I'm here for it.